give us the strength to behave accordingly and set a good example in your sight and for others to do your work as you see fit. In Jesus' name, amen. That was a good stalk. That's cool. I think he's down already. smokes you see where you hit that tree to show you a well-placed shot they're dead in a minute probably less well there it is did a stalk and watched that pig feed around didn't want to shoot that sow with those babies I would like to shoot boars they're, they're like any other animal we try to manage them shoot all your pigs and what you're gonna do for nine months of the year so we keep their numbers down but we don't want to wipe them out we love hunting them so much. So we manage it by shooting boars, letting the sows go, get too many pigs, shoot them all for a while. And as we see the numbers go down, and like we say, we hunt them all the time. We don't see as many pigs for a while. We go back to shooting boars only. So yeah, I don't know if you could tell in the distance, but that was a 10 yard shot, snuck right up on that sow. That boar was on, on the outside, couldn't quite get a shot, so I snuck in a little bit behind that bush. And there's a squirrel in the tree right in front of me, a little bush. He never left. Shot right over that, that squirrel and uh, drilled him at 10 yards. He went maybe 65, 70 yards. Hit that tree, hit the ground right there, ran under that bush right there where the camera's on. Thank you, Lord. I see blood right there. That sure does. Yeah, I guess I got him.
All right, so give me a recap. Give me like a two-minute recap or less. A two-minute recap? Yeah, kind of what happened. I'm sitting in the blind, watching the white-tailed deer. The white-tail turns, looks, shies just a little bit, and from the left, there was a sounder of pigs that came across full speed. I think there were 14 of them, but I was counting as fast as I could. They went left to right, and then about four of them peeled back this way. This is the one that came in. So, so we uh, played patty cake for a little while, and he finally gave me a shot. Good clean kill, ran about 40 yards maybe. Yeah. Awesome walker. Let's yeah. go check on uh, on Randy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we woke him up. I see an arrow. I want an arrow. There's an arrow over there, so. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Oh, well. Uh, it's just like Danny said. They came in from, except they came in from left to right. They came in on a string. And I suppose there was four of them. I have no idea when they were ninja pigs by the way and they did the matrix to my arrows and after I shot the first one and shot sparks I thought you know I'm gonna set this whole damn place on fire if I'm not careful so I figured I'd raise it up I figured I shot low the first time the second time I don't know where the arrow went they went after I shot the first one they dodged off to the left again the way they came and it wasn't 30 seconds and they were back. Um, what an experience. I, was, I, I tried the Danny trick about looking to the left, you know, and then pulling it over. My, my pins were lit. Uh, I looked through my peep sight, and I don't know if I looked through the center of my string or if I looked through my peep sight. I've never done that before. And I had a great time. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Great time. Well, let's go see what happened. I, I almost think I shot one of the legs of the stand. <laughs> hey, man, it won't be the first time. So you say there's a little learning curve to oh. shooting hogs at night, huh? Oh, man, is there a learning curve. I, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, it's all good. It's not an experience that we're ever going to do in South Dakota. Well, it's a, they moved late tonight for whatever they, reason. They moved after dark. They, they, I didn't see. Yeah, that the, sounds like a fox. I couldn't see. And two of them. At first I thought maybe they were piglets and they'd, they'd come around, but they never did. So Walker's got a story for you. Does he now? So did he bleed that, uh, that crossbow for a first time? Didn't yeah, he? he did. Come see what's on the back of the mule. I saw that. That's a good thing. That's, uh, that's Walker's. She was trying to eat all your corn, huh? Yeah. Where the pigs got here. Yeah. So where'd you whack this guy? Right where, right where Danny said to shoot him. Right That's in the shoulder. Yeah. Oh, you got a little boar. How about that? Didn't go nowhere. You could practically see the pig. If you'd aimed your flashlight right from the feeder, you could have seen it laying over there. Wow. DRT, huh? Yeah. I like that. Good for you, man. Good for you. So Chris and I are out here tonight. We're going to try to do some turkey hunting and some hog hunting. Uh, stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Why don't you send us out in prayer? That can do. Lord, thank you for this beautiful day. Watch over us. Keep us safe. Keep our shots true. Take care of those who aren't with us today and watch over our families and friends. You know, just give us your blessing, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Chris. I'll see you in a little bit, All bud. Right. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, Chris is cool, man. He killed a big old buck not too long ago, and he killed a couple of big hogs with that crossbow. He's deadly. He's deadly with that thing, so stay tuned.
walked up on a pack of pigs and uh, shot the sow closest to us. They had a really big sow on the other side, but the wind was kind of iffy and uh, she was just too far. She was like 45 yards. And there was about 12 or 15 piglets and we shot the small pig uh, right here. Come check it out. There by that hackberry and she just kind of stumbled into it right here. Didn't go far at all. And all the other ones took off. You saw that turkey that was in the middle of the pigs? It was a hen turkey. We come down the road and was yelping and then she started yelping so we set up and she yelped a little bit and then she shut up on us. And like well I don't know what happened. Maybe she saw us. We walked down the hill and I saw all the pigs. And we were stalking up on the pigs and said well there's the hen. The hen's in the middle of us. So uh, wasn't interested. She was eating away right in the middle of a pack of pigs. So Wine and I are going out on a hog hunt. It's the day before spring turkey season. We're here trying to roost some gobblers and maybe get a hog in the process. So uh, y'all stay tuned. Hope we get into some action. All right, first time in about two years. See what happens. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> And she was like getting down in the dirt and rubbing around in the dirt with her feathers. I don't know what that's for. Dusting. They dust for mites and bugs. Okay. They're dusting. Well, she was doing that right there. And I tried to get some video, but by the time I got my phone ready, she walked down. And she went down to the feeder and said, oh, there's no corn. So she left. And then uh, right after the feeder went off, a couple of small pigs came from back behind the feeder. And I just saw them for a little bit. They ran and then they kind of disappeared behind some brush. Tell you what, why don't we uh, why don't we get back to hunting? Then I'm gonna go check some other spots out, 
And you stay Sounds here, maybe good. those pigs will come back. That's what I'm hoping because they were here. I don't know where they went. But good job, honey. Thanks. So happy Mother's Day. <laughs>